All right, so well, on that note, I'd now like to invite on stage Ms. Sapna Srivastava. She's the editor of uh, Realty Plus. So let's give a round of applause and let's welcome Sapna back on stage. Good evening, everyone, our uh, distinguished guests, our uh, eminent uh, speakers of the afternoon. Uh, some of them are here um, joining us in the evening also. So as Kavya mentioned, we had a great start to the evening. Um, our speakers in the afternoon, you know, we had some very interesting session. We had some great speakers and experts on the panel, and we, they, thanks to them, we have had a great start to this evening. Uh, keeping it very short, because I know everyone is waiting for the awards to start, um, just to give you a brief on what uh, new we are coming up with um, is our anniversary issue, which will be uh, released in January next year, and uh, it promises to be a very good read that I can assure you all. Uh, our next coffee table book, which is Homes for All on the budget housing projects from across the country, or we like to call it, we have defined it as value for money homes rather than affordable housing. That is what we are going by, and this coffee table book is also going to come out soon. Interior Exterior Awards, again, as I mentioned in the afternoon, it is almost a decade of uh, felicitating and recognizing the real estate professionals. Now it is for the building construction materials industry that we would like to acknowledge their contribution. And uh, these Interior Exterior Awards will recognize the product design and application, branding and marketing, product consumer, centric technology that they have brought in, and also the Marketeer of the Year Awards. So friends, we look forward to a great evening. Um, I would like to say the quality and the standards of the entries is going up every year. It's, it's so heartening to see that you know, we, the entire real estate industry is growing in terms of quality and standards. So without taking any more time, I wish to congratulate all the winners of the evening. And I also like to thank everyone for their participation in the Realty Plus Excellence Awards. I now invite Anurag Batra, Chairman and Editor-in-Chief of Exchange for Media Group and Business World to please come on stage and share his thoughts. Mr. Batra. Thank you, Sapna. Uh, let me not stay between you and the award winner. Let me say what Elizabeth Taylor said to many suitors, I won't keep you long. It's inspired by our conversation, <laughs> Mr. Purwankar. So, you know, um, Anush told you that I had a real estate background, but I just, Anush is not here, so I'll say it now that he's not here. Um, you know, in life, my father also, he went to Bits Pilani, he chose to be a professor of chemistry. My partner, Naval, is there, Naval, my, we went to the same engineering school, of course, he went, he's junior to me. Only two batches. I know I look much more senior, but... Um, my father, when we started the company, and me, Amit, and Nawal started, uh, you know, always believed his, and Nawal's father was the executive director of IFCI, again, one of the most honest people I've met in my life. I mean, he was in a, then he became the managing director of the IFCI Venture Capital Fund. And both our parents are very, very honest, I, I can say that. And so they believe, at least my father believed that if you were an entrepreneur, you're doing something wrong to get ahead. You know, you don't get ahead by, uh, that's the belief system, at least the old, but I can, and similarly, there's a belief system that nice guys finish last. I can tell you, Anuj is a very good example that nice guys don't finish last. I worked with him for two years intensely. And I can tell you, he's one of the nicest people I know, the most ethical, and a lot of good things in communication I learned, I learned from Anuj. Anuj was very prompt to respond to a letter, very specific. He used to use a dictaphone, and you know, that's one habit I haven't used, but... I just want to say that, you know, he's created a breed of real estate leaders. I was telling Mr. Purvankara that Ritesh Vora, who's the, many, all of them, Rami, I can drop 20 names, but they all, we all worked with Anuj and learned a lot from him, of course. Um, Anuj remains a friend and our first port of call for anything in real estate, at least my first port of call for anything in real estate. And I was telling Anuj, I went to see him till the car because I have tremendous respect and affection for him, that, you know, I meet a lot of people, and Anuj is a, you know, Mr. Vadwani said, you know, 
मैं भी माधुरी दीक्षित दैट मूवी केम एंड मैं भी अनुज पुरी बनना चाहता हूँ इन रियल इस्टेट आई थिंक दैट द ओनली गाई यू कैन गिव कॉम्पिटिशन टू अनुज इज यू एंड आई स्टेट सीरियसली आई आई हैव सम कॉमन फ्रेंड एंड दे टेल मी थिंग्स अबाउट यू दैट हाउ यू आर एग्रेसिव एंड हाउ यू आर बिल्डिंग अ डिफ्रेंशिएटेड सर्विस क्वालिटी एंड हाउ यू बिल्डिंग अ नेटवर्क एंड द ट्रैक रिकॉर्ड सो आई थिंक द रियल इस्टेट इंडस्ट्री इज चेंजिंग ए लॉट्स ऑफ एथिकल ऑनेस्ट क्वालिफाइड पीपल हु कुड है एनी डोमेन are in the real estate domain either developers or intermediaries or in the investment space so this traditional view of real estate that because they deal with bureaucrats and politicians you know they have to be like them okay like nice guys that's what i mean uh, right so i think i want to change that i i took names of i'm sure you met and you know like a lot of people tell me oh you guys are from the media so i tell them the media guys haven't come from mars venus you know we are normal people In fact, I have this joke that I share. I, this is a real life story. There is a friend of mine, a large industrialist. I won't take his name. He did some scam, and of course, the media went after him. And so, so he always tells me, you know, you guys from the media, you are such. And maybe some guys blackmail him, whatever. I mean, I know the exact, but he has a certain viewpoint on media. So I met him about six, seven years back. I went to a blood donation camp. My journalist and editor friends had organized. I didn't give away blood, but I was there. So I saw all the editors, almost all the TV editors, newspaper editors, lots of media owners were there. And I called my friend, and you know, let's say Mr. Mehra. I called Mr. Mehra, and I said, "Mehra sir, all the media people are here, and their blood is also red. It's like ours." So Mehra sir said, "Our blood will be red too." so you know again this you know there is a new normal you can't generalize you know real estate guys are like this media guys are like this i think you don't have to have the background i went to an engineering school then went to a business school me and i was started a media company so you don't have to be donald trump whether you like him or not like him i don't like him in fact if you'd like to know why donald trump won i can tell you would you like to know why he won you know my nutritional therapist and friend rachna chachi says not that i follow her too much i used to at one point right uh, she, she told me that the if you eat junk food your brain makes the wrong choices so americans have been eating junk food for 60 years one day they had to pay up for it so in fact i keep saying and i could get in trouble but i'd say you know donald trump is so bad that he makes modi look good right Uh, our prime minister is great he is one of the greatest leaders the world has ever produced and especially he is a gujarati <laughs> uh, but jokes about he is a doer and he, again he is bringing cleanliness so you don't have to the old notions of what somebody used to do is the right way and the normal way of doing business has changed so i am sure with rera with gst with demonetization with more professionalism because survival of the fittest will kick in in the real way now so you have to deliver the product you have to work on a real business model which means real money really accounted for so i think uh, consumers will have more choice to choose from so to say because the established players will will in some way be differentiated but be similar so they will have choice to choose from and i can tell you that whatever little real estate we buy media is not like it's the big business of small people right in money terms you know or they say it's a small business of big people i even epitomize that but whatever i bought i bought branded i said i bought the elephant delhi wouldn't bought anything else did buy one ambience so branded i think brands will matter more and more and brands are about purpose they're not just about building an icon for example in the morning the first session was about mobility but in india we don't look at people who are specially able you know look at all our public spaces even new buildings we haven't figured out what should we do with people who are special because we haven't built it for them even our airlines anything so i think that mindset to everything is changing we are part of that change and i'm sure that leaders in this room who will be awarded today will take upon themselves to be responsible to take this change right through the end um i also believe that the golden period of real estate is 
from now because it will separate the shaft from the grain. The real players, and not necessarily deep pockets. Of course, deep pockets always help. But uh, as I said, the margins will squeeze uh, unless until you can build a differentiated product. I mean, DLF really charges so much money because of the fact that you know that a DLF product will get delivered and is of a certain quality. I can tell you that, you know, my wife tells me in this much money we can buy a landed house. Why are you buying a flat? But you feel a certain comfort, the quality of occupant. So similarly, in every product, I think, um, category in residential, commercial, uh, warehousing, we don't talk about lots of not so sexy stuff like warehousing. Today, one of the biggest categories that is growing is warehousing. I mean, that's also real estate. Uh, we don't talk of educational, you know, real estate around education, though it's in fancy. And again, you need scale there. You can't just do it in one city. You got to do a big scale. I'm trying to show off the why I know a little bit of real estate, right? Uh, so I, I genuinely believe that there'll be new trends. Co-working is in a new form of value addition to real estate. But co-working is not about real estate. It's about the softer things that go with it. And again, scale. Um, so I wish you well. I believe that um, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. I think in the room we have the, the toughest in the real estate space and hence the best. I wish you luck in creating icons for future and making sure you fulfill the vision of the Prime Minister in terms of giving housing for all. Affordable is another, I know a developer in Delhi last time, two years back I brought him to the Bombay event and he's very rustic. His uncle was the Chief Minister of Delhi, so he's very rustic, you know, he's a jat from Delhi. And uh, he, when Bama Nirani or Rustamji asked me him, so what do you do? He says, I do the parlegi of housing, right? The parlegi, the basic. Now that segment with what the government is doing is going to explode. I hope some of you take it and brand it because people have built portfolio. Look at what DHFL has done on the back of affordable housing financing. So there is a new India. The best years of India are ahead of it. That I can promise you. You don't have to go to a good business school or Harvard to know that for that matter. Um, I wish that some of the people who are awarded today continue to do well and are a role models for other people in the room. Thank you for being a part of Reality Plus Conclave. God bless you. Thank you very much, Mr. Batra, for opening up a Pandora's box of insights as well. And thank you very much for setting the tone for the evening. Well, ladies and gentlemen, before we march ahead with the uh, much-awaited awards segment for the evening, we'd also like to take the opportunity to honor some of the eminent personalities in today's gathering. It is our way to recognize excellence and appreciate valuable contribution that's been made by them in the real estate sector. So uh, before that, I'm also going to request the scroll of honor winners to please be seated because towards the end, we'll have the group photograph as well. And we'd also like to acknowledge Kajaria Ceramics Limited for their support to the Realty Plus in this initiative. Uh, before we get started, once again, let's take a look at the AB, please. जी जान लगा देते हैं कुछ लोग अपनी मिट्टी की हिफाजत के लिए इसके सम्मान के लिए एक पहचान के लिए संस्कारों और विरासत के लिए एक धुन सवार रहती है इन लोगों पर देश को बुलंदियों पर पहुंचाने की दरअसल ये लोग फर्ज निभाते हैं अपनी मिट्टी के लिए ऐसा ही एक फर्ज हम भी निभाते हैं देश की मिट्टी से बनी टाइल से देश को बनाते हैं कचारिया And on that note, we present to you the Realty Plus Scroll of Honor. To do the honors, I'm going to invite on stage Mr. Anurag Batra, Mr. Nawal Ahuja. May I also invite Mr. Suresh Bagra and Mr. Nagendra from Kajaria Ceramics to please come on stage.
So on that note, let's get started with the uh, presentation of the Scroll of Honor. And our first recipient for the evening, ladies and gentlemen, is the founder and chairman of Purvankara Limited, Mr. Ravi Purvankara. So please put your hands together. I'm going to request his son, Ashish Purvankara, the managing director of Purvankara Limited, to please come on stage and receive the honor on the ground. That's right, as Mr. Batra always says, you don't get taxed to clap your hands. So we'll keep doing that. Not yet. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, our next recipient of the Scroll of Honor, may I please invite on stage Mr. Ravindra Pai, Managing Director, Century Real Estate Holdings Private Limited. often hear that we shape our buildings and thereafter they shape us. So let's march ahead to also invite our next recipient of the Scroll of Honor trophy. May I please invite Mr. Anoop Shah, founder and partner Anoop S. Shah Law Firm. On that note, let's keep the applause going as I now invite on stage Dr. Benny Kuriakos to please come forward to receive the Scroll of Honor. Please keep the applause going, ladies and gentlemen. recipient of the Scroll of Honor, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. R. J. Shankar, the Chairman and Managing Director of the Brigade Group. We'd like to request uh, Ms. Nirupa Shankar and Mr. Amar Mysore to please come on stage to receive the honor on his behalf. We have with us Mr. Amar Mysore, his uh, nephew, to receive the honor on behalf of Mr. R. J. Shankar. Ladies and gentlemen, on that note, our next recipient of the Scroll of Honor, architects Nalini and Sharad Kembhavi, partners of the Kembhavi Architects. I'd like to request uh, their son and daughter-in-law Architects Indrajit and Anita Kimbhavi to please come on stage to receive the honor. You see, that's a long walk. I think we need to accompany it with a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen.
Let's continue to recognize the excellence and the contribution in the real estate sector. And it's now time to honor architect Prem Chandavarkar, the managing partner of CNT Architects. Ladies and gentlemen, up next, we'd now like to invite on stage Mr. Raja Bagmane, the Chairman and Managing Director of Bagmane Group, to please come on stage and receive the scroll of honor. I may request Mr. Bagmane to please remain on the stage. Uh, I'm going to also request the Scroll of Honor recipients to please come on stage for a group photograph as well. Now that calls for the loudest round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, some of the stalwarts right here on the stage. And it's not over until it's over, as they say. I'm going to request you to please remain on the stage as well. We have another very important segment for all of you as well. And uh, as a part of the next segment, I'm also going to request Mr. Amit Vadwani to please uh, join all of our Scroll of Honor recipients, along with our dignitaries on the stage. Uh, this part of the presentation is the Moguls of Real Estate. Um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is where we unveil the coffee table book, uh, which actually showcases the top 100 developers for the year 2017, the Moguls of Real Estate. The book was unveiled in Mumbai in September this year and now is being exhibited across the country at the Realty Plus events by the dignitaries as well as the respective honorable, honorable uh, winners as well. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's have the uh, coffee table on the stage, please, and let's have all of our dignitaries come together for the unveiling of the Moguls of Real Estate. We're going to request all of you to please unveil the uh, coffee table book as well. The Moguls of Real Estate book lists out the uh, leading real estate players of India in the year 2017, summarizes uh, and presents the personal and professional profile of the individuals leading the organization from the front. All right, so we'll carry forward that momentum. We'll march ahead, but first up, I'm going to be inviting on stage Mr. Amit Vadwani, 
as well. In fact, uh, we have a very interesting and a very interactive session in store, apparently. So I'm going to be requesting Mr. Vadwani uh, to please come on the stage. He's the director of SAI Estate Consultants, uh, an ISO and Crystal Certified Real Estate Organization. In fact, under his guidance, the company provides genuine consultation to buyers as well as sellers to help acquire value for money deals. So please put your hands together and let's hear it from Mr. Amit Vadwani. Hi, very good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is the third tough task that uh, has been given to me in this one week to speak after uh, the Chief Minister of Maharashtra, to speak after Mr. Niranjan Higandandani, and now to speak after Mr. Anurag Bhatra. But I'm try to, uh, still try and keep it slightly interesting. So uh, it was very, very nice to be in Bangalore because what I learned, which something that I did not know, that the real estate environment and the developers speak so very positive and there is, there is a huge demand because we don't have an office here in Bangalore. Uh, to tell you a little bit about our company because we are new, in ba new, new to Bangalore. This is a company which I started in the year 2010 and started as a vanilla broker. In 2010, I'm sure uh, uh, Mr. Batra would not have noticed me. I, I'm sure one of his flights, I must have served him some tea, coffee, or hot breakfast because I, I used to work as a flight steward. You don't travel? <laughs> so, yeah, so that, that's my story. So I, I, I was a flight steward for about six years. And I feel today, if I understand the Indian consumers better, it's because of my experience of uh, understanding somebody on a 30 alpha who would want, uh, when he wants a non veg, he wants a non veg, he will not uh, take a vegetarian stuff, you know. And if he wants hot coffee, the coffee has to be really hot. So, you know, out of me, about 350, 400 boys and girls who work with us today, um, when they come back and they tell me the client is, uh, is behaving a little tough because he wants. He doesn't want an hydraulic car park. In Mumbai, we have an issue in terms of parking space. So we have a lot of these stack hydraulic park-on, park-on systems. Uh, you know, I tell all these guys that if somebody who, uh, on a jet light flight, paid 15 rupees for a cup of coffee and wanted it exactly the way he or she wanted, somebody who's paying 2 lakh rupees for a car park, by the way, we are, we, are, we are allowed to sell car park as per Raya while I say this. Uh, requires every bit of attention and, uh, uh, you know, the product that has been promised. So coming back to where we were, now we are in Delhi, we are also in Dubai, we are also in uh, uh, our, all our offices in Mumbai. Uh, talking about demand, I was, I was very, very delighted to hear that developers are seeing an upward trend in demand because I have been saying that saying this continuously that there, I have never seen in the last 10 months or 12 months where demand, demand has been going down. So uh, we, we used to do about 220 to about 250 units per week. And uh, this, week, this, this weekend, we, we hope we will do about 300 units. So if you look at the number of units that we have been selling with a ticket size of about 60 to 80 lakh rupees in the city of Mumbai, Thane, Navi Mumbai, MMR as, as one zone put together, has always been going up. One important observation in that uh, zone is that consumers after Rera, or for that matter before Rera, are not interested in taking a developer to court. I come from a middle class background and if you ask me if I buy a flat, am I am not interested to take a developer to court. I want the, the house that I have purchased, I want the amenities that has been promised to me. So with or without Rera, as long as uh, developers continue to uh, uh, you know, fulfill their promises. I don't see demand going up. I have about a couple of ladies from my uh, uh, organization here, and they'll tell you that they have been going at what 60% at least every year. So a small company like me and a, a, a debt-free company like me, we have not really borrowed a rupee from any of the banks or PE guys, uh, though they have been after us because uh, we are known to be in that, you know, the Patanjali of the Indian real estate where I don't go to Mantrale very often. I don't go to Dubai or Middle East any often. So I don't get my monies from Mantrale or anywhere in the Middle East, so to say. Each and every rupee that we spend is organically generated by the money that I get, uh, get paid from the developers, which is again a tough task, you know. So getting money from developers has always been a challenge. A few of my friends on the first tour will, will second what I've been saying. But, you know, as long as you do a fantabulous job, uh, you know, you occupy that space where 
developers are on a high horse, you know, as per the perception in the market, as far as the consumer is concerned, you need to mitigate that gap and, you know, not all developers get up in the morning and say that today I'm going to do a bad job. I don't know anybody who, who, who wakes up in the morning and says, Aaj to main kharaab kaam karne wala But then somewhere, you know, the entire last 20, 25 years, I come from the airline background, I feel 2017 will be a cabin divider. We had a cabin divider between economy and premier class. It will be a cabin divider how 20 years pehle real estate becha kharida jata tha aur banaya jata tha. Or when we are in 2030-2035, we will remember 2017 as a year that this year changed everything. Probably you had thinner margins. I always so I'm, I, I do these radio shows in the morning where people call up and ask me. There is a segment called Ask Amit. Should I buy real estate? And many a times, I say a question, why do you want to buy real estate? So they come back and tell me, I mean in India, my mom says you need to buy a flat. My wife says, what is my security? I need to buy a flat. I tell them, if these are the reasons, then go ahead and buy a flat. But if you're going to tell me that I want to buy a flat to make money with a 17% entry load in, in our state, I would rather tell you if you're going to invest. I was having a conversation with Mr. Batra. Uh, I told him, don't buy real estate if you're an investor. That is, that is my personal view on the subject. But if you're an end user, the next two and a half to three years, sorry, could be very exciting uh, in, uh, for somebody who's actually planning to have a home and move into, the, uh, into that space. So having said this, I feel that uh, we, have, we are in a zone which is, uh, with GST, demonetization is slightly stressful for everybody to absorb. But I, I must, you know, I have a contra view on the subject where developers and the fraternity has grown from, two, from 2000, 2010 to 2015, where we have a little bit of slump since the last about 8 to 10 months when you look at, a, say, an NCR uh, uh, zone where there's, there's a lot of blood. I feel Mumbai is doing well, MMR is doing well, Pune is doing very well. Uh, I heard West Bengal is doing well, Chennai, Bangalore are also picking up doing very, very well. Uh, and I, I fail to believe why a city like Mumbai will not do well with water on three sides. Where is the chance to acquire more land? And if I throw a question open here, saying that, Kya aap apna next ghar kharidna chate ho? If you're staying in a penthouse, do you want to upgrade? If I tell you you're driving a 5 series, do you want to go to a 7 series? Probably you will tell me that, oh no, I'm happy with a 5 series. But ghar ek aisi cheez hai, jo mujhe aisa lagta hai, har ek family mein, aap, aap 60 saal ke ho ya 25 saal ke ho, Aapko hamesha aisa lagega ki, yes, I should go to the next mile. So I think we are all lucky uh, and, and I am luckier because I have, uh, I say this often, I have age on my side and I don't have dreams of becoming a developer ever. So I will always occupy this Patanjali space of Indian uh, broking and will continue to add value to this segment. I am very excited to be here and born in this era where India is, uh, you know, I, I say this, I'm, I have nothing to do with politics. Uh, uh, from where I come from, but you look at our current chief minister in Maharashtra and the current prime minister across uh, in the center, I feel of, of what I have seen in my consciousness are the most dynamic, helpful and for the state and the country. If you look at the policies, most of the policies, most of the policies, I, I'll, t I'll take this additional one minute and tell you because I, I my, my, though we have offices in Delhi and Dubai also now, but my, my growth started from this place called Chembu in Mumbai. Uh, I get this opportunity to uh, meet the CM uh, very often these days. What has the CM got to do with a person like me? But he's still given me his cell phone number and said, if there's anything that you want, send me a text message. I will not be able to take your call, but I will respond back. The chief minister of Maharashtra is so interactive. You, you speak to him at a session and he will always tell you, okay, if you don't, oh, you want this, this is a line title. If there's a reservation in the forum with Naritko and MCHI Kridai, we often have dialogues with him. He will always say, okay, see you at four o'clock with, with the BMC commissioner, with the assistant commissioner. There is solution provided, at least in the last 15 years from the time that I have been politically conscious and understanding how media and real estate and politics all together functions uh, together. I feel that we are only lucky to be in this era which is extremely bullish positive there could be slight uh, pain for the next six to eight months but i feel that going forward in 2018-19 things w will improve in terms of demand in terms of for brokers for bankers for developers for consumers for nris altogether and i take this pledge that 
what sai state consultants have been doing uh, gigantically and uh, uh, we're talking a little more about sai we are looking at an ipo by 2019 20 and i'm sure uh, every indian will be proud about the fact that here is one company we have many banking ipos we have many infra ipos but by 2019 when my company gets listed as the first ipo of a broker of a vanilla broker from indian soil with no help from foreign whatsoever i am sure everybody will be very very proud thank you very much thank you very much amit it's amazing to see the way you can uh, ensure that the passion and the energy that you have you get to transfer that across the audience and uh, it's wonderful to get us to start the awards also on a very optimistic note so thank you so much once again uh, ladies and gentlemen and with that let's get started with the realty plus excellence awards 2017 south before that let's take a look at this beautiful audio visual presentation we have for you Oh I'm delighted to come over here to the Reality Plus Awards function. I think it's a delight. The experience is wonderful to be able to collaborate with so many wonderful people from the industry. I think I love the magazine and it's such a pleasure and privilege to be here along with all these people. I'm extremely happy uh, and in fact uh, LIC HFL happens to be a part of uh, Reality Plus programs for the last 2 years. We are very happy to be associated with it. I think it's a great honor, great initiative when I actually subscribe to this my expectations were huge. uh when i uh, after spending some time here i feel this is one of the most acclaimed and well known uh, award in the industry to not only to the builders or uh, including to the consumers it is an uh, one of the best uh, events i have attended anurag batra who is the owner of reality plus is fantastic his team is fantastic and the awards are highly credi credible transparent and a lot of the stakeholders within the industry look forward to be recognized at the reality plus platform this initiated by reality plus promotes excellence in a competitive industry and is a transparent platform to judge and reward deserving products and brands i would like to wish reality plus all success in continuing to provide unbiased property advice to our consumers and look forward to supporting their upcoming initiatives in the coming years I'm delighted to be part of the jury of the Reality Plus Excellence Awards. It's not a easy job, but definitely exciting. I look forward to who the winners are. I must say, year by year, it's becoming very difficult for us to judge entries which come with tremendous potential to win. I believe it's a very well organized function and more than anything I think it's a great representation of all segments of the real estate industry it's a fantastic initiative I think it's gaining ground and maturity as it goes along and it's got a great prospect to actually build on this and continue the recognition of real estate need a great thing for a magazine to honor uh, you know people in the construction industry whom I would say are actually the nation builders
Realty Plus is a very recognized magazine in, uh, for you know, our industry. It is, in a way, a voice of the industry that carries information B2B and B2C in, in places. There we go, all the behind the scenes action as well as the jury members. Let's hear it for the jury members as well. I'm hoping there was fully some good amount of fireworks out there to select the winners this evening. So on that note, let's get the uh, awards uh, celebration started with our first category. I'd like to invite Mr. Anurag Batra, Mr. Nawal Ahuja, Mr. Jaydeep Gandhi, who's also the founder of Another Idea. And may I also invite architect Subaya to please come on stage to do the honors for the first set of awards. All right, so here's a note to all our presenters. We're going to be uh, playing the uh, video of the uh, winner as well. So I'm going to request the presenters to head towards the side of the stage. And while we're doing the honors, you may please come center stage. That's a note to all the presenters as well. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get started with the first category for the evening, which is real estate projects. Let's take a look. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we present the winners of Realty Plus Excellence Awards 2017 South. First category of the evening, Real Estate Projects. Subcategory, Commercial Project of the Year. The Office of Mixed-Use Development Projects that have demonstrated excellence at a conceptual development and delivery level and successfully attracted top corporate brands to create a healthy tenant mix. And the award goes to Salarpuria Sattva Group of Salarpuria Sattva Knowledge City, Brigade Group for World Trade Center, Kochi. All right, so we've got two winners there. Salarpuria Sattva Group for Salarpuria Sattva Knowledge City. We'll also keep the applause going to invite on stage Brigade Gru for World Trade Center, Kochi. Congratulations to both of our winners. I'm going to request our presenters to please remain on the stage. And on that note, uh, let's march ahead to our next subcategory for the evening, which is... Subcategory, the IT Park Project of the Year. The IT parks, including IT and ITES facilities with minimum floor area of 15,000 square meters, offering amenities of international standards, 
that has demonstrated excellence at a conceptual development and delivery level. And the award goes to Bagmani Developers Private Limited for Bagmani World Technology Center. Well, moving on to our next subcategory for the evening. This is the uh, integrated township project of the year. Let's take a look. Next subcategory, integrated township project of the year. The township project above 100 acres in size, providing social, economic, educational, healthcare, and recreational infrastructure and ancillary facilities that has demonstrated excellence at a conceptual development and delivery level. And the winners are Ozone Group for Ozone Arbena. Yeah, so we'll correct that. There's only one winner, which is Ozone Group for Ozone Arbena. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's now take a look at our next subcategory for the evening, Residential Project of the Year. Next subcategory, Residential Project of the Year. The residential project that has demonstrated excellence at a conceptual development and delivery level and was delivered in the process of delivery. And the winners are Pacifica Companies for Pacifica Hillcrest. All right, so whenever technology goes off, here comes the human intervention. Let me tell you there are two uh, winners Pacifica Companies for Happiness Star at Aurum and Joywell Shapoji for Park West. So, first up, let's invite Pacifica Companies team to please come on stage. All right, so then let's invite Joyville Shapoji for Park West. Let's invite the Joyville Shapoji team. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to find out our next subcategory for the evening. Let's take a look. Next subcategory, Affordable Housing Project of the Year. The residential project that has demonstrated excellence at a conceptual development and delivery level while offering a well-planned interior and exterior spaces and ancillary amenities for a healthy living. And the winners are Tata Housing Development Company for New Haven Ribbon Wood.
winner is Tata Value Homes for New Haven Ribbon Walk. Let's keep the applause going one more time. to our next subcategory, which is mid-segment project of the year. Let's take a look. Next subcategory, mid-segment project of the year. The residential project that has demonstrated excellence at a conceptual development and delivery level while offering a well-planned interior and exterior spaces and ancillary amenities for a holistic living. And the award goes to VB8SA Value Homes Private Limited for Serene. So we're going to get started with our next set of subcategory of awards and I'm going to thank Architect Subaya for doing the honours. Thank you very much. I'm going to request Mr. Nawal Ahuja, Mr. Batra and Mr. Jaydeep to please remain on the stage. And I'm also going to invite uh, Dr. Benny Kuriakos to please come forward. If I may please invite Dr. Benny. So if I may please invite you to please join to do the honours for our next set of awards. Ladies and gentlemen, our next subcategory for the evening, Luxury Project of the Year. Let's take a look. Next subcategory, Luxury Project of the Year. The residential project with minimum carpet area of 120 square meters for metro cities and 150 square meters for tier two cities that has demonstrated excellence at a conceptual development and delivery level while offering a luxury lifestyle amenities. And the winners are... Phoenix Residences for Phoenix One Bangalore West and Tata Housing Development Company for Promont. There, Phoenix resi Residences for Phoenix One Bangalore West and Tata Housing Development Company for the Promont. Well, that's your second award for the evening, right? That's a double whammy. Can we double up the applause, ladies and gentlemen, one more time for Tata Housing Development Company? Again, I'm going to thank Mr. Nawal Ahuja for doing the honors. So, I'm going to request you to please remain on the stage. And uh, with that, let's uh, get started with our next subcategory for the evening 
This is Ultra Luxury Lifestyle Project of the Year. Let's take a look. Next subcategory, Ultra Luxury Lifestyle Project of the Year. The residential project with minimum carpet area of 150 square meters that has demonstrated excellence at a conceptual development and delivery level while offering international standards and branded design and living amenities. And the winners are Prestige Constructions for Prestige Hermitage Assets Property Group for Stratos well, uh, I'd like to inform our members of the audience. Unfortunately, there's been a tragedy within the family of the Prestige Constructions, which is why they're not here with us this evening. However, I'd like to invite on stage the team from Assets Property Group for Stratos to please come on stage to receive the award. With that, I'm going to thank Dr. Benny for doing the honors. Thank you very much. May I please invite Mr. Amit Vadwani to please come on stage to do the honors for the next set of awards as well. And meanwhile, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at our next subcategory. This is Green Project of the Year. Next subcategory, Green Project of the Year. A project conceptualized and developed involving eco-friendly design and construction and ensuring the preservation of the environment during its life cycle. And the winners are Sriram Properties for Sriram Greenfield. We have only one winner, let me clarify that. That's right, it's uh, Sriram Properties for Sriram Greenfield. And now, ladies and gentlemen, our next subcategory, this is the Villa Project of the Year. Let's take a look. Next subcategory, Villa Project of the Year. The project comprising independent houses, bungalows or villas with additional lifestyle amenities, and has demonstrated excellence at a conceptual development and delivery level. And the winners are... Mantri Developers Private Limited for Mantri Euphoria. I'm going to put our voiceover in an autocorrect mode and correct that once again for all of you. There's only one winner which is Mantri Developers Private Limited for Mantri Euphoria. So before uh, our next subcategory, before we play the next subcategory, I was very curious to actually understand how is our audience doing? Are we all energized? Are we all doing good? Yes? Okay, so this side says yes. How about this side? Okay, that was like a yes. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I just want all of you to like relax a little and maybe uh, warm up a little. So I'm going to request all of you to please rise up. Everyone may please rise up. That's right. Just rise up a little and you can just sort of stretch yourself. That's right, that's right. We've been sitting for a long time, right? So I want all of you to please rise up. That's right. And you may please take your left hand up in the air and say hello to me, 
to them, say hello. That's right. You can take your right hand up in the air and say hello. You can bring both the hands together and let's have a huge round of applause as well. And thank you for the standing ovation. Thank you so much. You may now please take your seats as well. All right. See, it's wonderful to see those smiles back in the audience. And uh, on that note, let's get started with our next subcategory for the evening. This is the iconic project of the year. Next subcategory, iconic project of the year. The statement building or a development that is recognized as a landmark project of the city. And the winners are Vaishnavi Infrastructure Private Limited for Vaishnavi Union 20. Vaishnavi Infrastructure Private Limited for Vaishnavi Union 29. started with our next category for the evening. This is Builders and Developers. And let's take a look at our subcategories as well. No. Subcategory Emerging Developer of the Year Residential. The developer leading a company established in the last five years and has demonstrated leadership and innovation in the design and development of projects. And the award goes to... KMB Estates. That brings us to our next subcategory for the evening. Ladies and gentlemen, developer of the year, residential. Let's take a look. Next subcategory, developer of the year, residential. The developer who has demonstrated leadership and innovation in the design and development of residential properties. And the award goes to Salarpuria Satwa Group. Ladies and gentlemen, our next subcategory for the evening. Let's take a look. Next subcategory, excellence in delivery. The project that has been delivered before scheduled date of delivery as per the quality and standards prescribed. And the award goes to Provident Housing Limited, for Provident Sandworth. Well, do we have a 
team here from Provident Housing uh, Limited. All right, so then uh, let's get started with our uh, next category for the evening. This is the Realty Consultant Awards. Let's take a look at the subcategories as well. Third category of the evening, Realty Consultant Awards. Subcategory, International Property Consultant of the Year. The multinational property consultant who has provided exceptional services in property development, sales and leasing transactions, strategic consulting and other allied services in multi-cities across for real estate projects. And the award goes to CBRE South Asia Private Limited for Ramanujan IT Park TRI. I'd also like to take the opportunity to invite on stage architect Prem Chandavarkar. So if I may please invite you to do the honors for our next set of awards as well. And can we have a huge round of applause to welcome him on the stage. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our next subcategory for the evening, construction management firm of the year. Yeah. Subcategory Construction Management Firm of the Year. The organization that uses specialized construction management techniques to oversee project planning, design, and construction from the beginning to completion. It should have demonstrated excellence in controlling project time, cost, and quality. And the award goes to Synergy India. Our next category for the evening, branding and marketing. And our next subcategory is marketer of the year. Fifth category of the evening, branding and marketing. Subcategory, marketer of the year. The marketing professionals are real estate organizations who have been responsible for undertaking innovative marketing campaigns for promoting the projects, products or organization. And the award goes to Syriac Joseph, Head Marketing, Vaishnavi Infrastructure, Private Limited.
moving on to our next subcategory. This is the Consumer Connect Initiative of the Year. Subcategory Consumer Connect Initiative of the Year. A program by the real estate organization that has taken an innovative approach towards connecting with consumers directly and has maintained the relationship throughout the sale process. And the award goes to Ascenders Singbridge Group for ITPB Carnival 2016. Okay, so that brings us to our next subcategory, and here we're talking about innovation. I'm reminded of this wonderful quote by Dr. Albert Van Sent. Now, some of you might wonder who is Dr. Albert Van Sent. Well, he's somebody who's responsible for having discovered the vital nutrient, which is vitamin C. And he very profoundly said that innovation is seeing what everybody is seeing and thinking what nobody has thought. So on that note, let's get started with our next subcategory, which is innovative marketing concept of the year. Let's take a look. Next subcategory, innovative marketing concept of the year. The underlying concept of an organization's marketing strategy that incorporates new ideas and creative processes resulting in outstanding results. And the award goes to Godridge Properties for Godridge Gold County. Ladies and gentlemen, that brings us now to the Individual Achievement Awards. Well, that's the next category for the evening, our final category for the evening, which is the Individual Achievement Awards. Our uh, subcategory being the Woman CXO of the Year. Let's take a look. Seventh category of the evening, Individual Achievement Awards. Next subcategory, Woman CXO of the Year. The C-level woman executive who has displayed innovation and sound business strategies is an expert in her specific profession and a motivational leader, making him a prominent figure of the industry. And the award goes to... Nirupa Shankar, Director, Brigade Group.
Nirupa, I'm gonna, I'm gonna request you to remain on the stage because I'm reminded of this quote that a woman on a mission needs no permission. So firstly, let's have a huge round of applause one more time for Nirupa. I'm gonna request you to share a few words with the audience. I wasn't expecting that, but anyway, I always say it's easier to ask for forgiveness than to ask for permission. So always do what Absolutely. you need to do and then uh, figure it out. But uh, thank you very much for this award. Um, I know that, you know, questions we normally get asked um, by any media is that, you know, there aren't too many women in real estate and all those kind of um, questions. And I honestly don't know how to answer those because I've always been raised to focus on my job and not my gender. So even when I got this award of, uh, you know, Woman CX of the Year, <laughs> I was like, why is there a separate category for a woman and a man? So that I asked one of the editors that. But anyway, so I said, I wish it was just CXO of the year and not just woman CXO of the year. Uh, but in any case, you know, um, uh, like I said, I think uh, when I spoke to the editors of the magazine, they said it is to encourage other women. And, and I completely buy that. So I'm glad that there is this focus to encourage more women in this space. And I'm happy that in the end, there is an award such as this. So thank you very much, and I'll do my best to make the industry proud as well. Thank you. Thank you very much, and that's beautifully said. I think our editors are taking note of that as well. So in our next edition, we're going to have just the CXO of the year. In fact, that is our next subcategory, which is CXO of the year. So let's take a look. Next subcategory, CXO of the Year. The C-level executive who has displayed innovation and sound business strategies is an expert in his specific profession and a motivational leader, making him a prominent figure of the industry. And the award goes to... Ashish R. Purvankara, Managing Director, Purvankara Limited. Okay, let's keep that applause going, despite the fact that Mr. Ashish, Ashish had a flight to catch. Um, but that's just our way to congratulate him. And we're going to ensure that the award is handed over to him after the program. Okay, so our next subcategory as well. Uh, this is an interesting subcategory. Um, it's called the Young Achiever of the Year. Let's take a look. Next up category, Young Achiever of the Year. The professional less than 35 years of age who has demonstrated strong leadership, teamwork and integrity while continually making a difference in the real estate sector. And the award goes to Supreet Suresh, Managing Director, Rainbow Properties. I wasn't expecting this, so it was a last minute entry. Uh, I was forced by my employees to do that. So uh, it's a good category to uh, nominate yourself because when you're old, you won't want to be eligible to get this award. So uh, I got lucky before I get too old. <laughs> Thank you. And ladies and gentlemen, our final category for the evening, uh, this is the Lifetime Achievement Award. Last category of the evening, 
Lifetime Achievement of the Year, a person with exemplary leadership qualities and contribution to the growth and development of his organization and the industry at large. And the award goes to Dr. GVK Reddy, the Founder, Chairman and Managing Director of GVK. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have uh, a video that we'd like to showcase. Uh, this, that's his acceptance speech. So we'd like to share the video with all of you. Let's take a look. Yes, the message is coming all the way from Hyderabad, so we're still processing that. Kindly bear with us. We're just going to request our uh, team console to please uh, play the AV. All right, so I've just been informed that there's a technical glitch, so we won't be able to play the AV. However, we have with us Mr. Ram Mankekar, who's the uh, Group Head and Vice President of Corporate Communications for GVK, to please come on stage and receive the award on behalf of Dr. GVK Reddy. Mr. Ram has a message from Dr. Reddy in an audio format. With your permission. All right, so well, on that note, we come to the end of the award ceremony as well. Thank you very much for doing the honors. But of course, I'm going to request all the winners to please come on the stage for a group photograph as well with the shining trophy. So I'm going to request all the winners to please come on the stage. And can we have a round of applause one more time for all the winners? Where is all the applause? Where is the noise? There's too much of lull, not fair. So let's have all the winners one more time on the stage as well for a group photograph. I'm going to request Mr. Amitabh Satyam to please come on the stage as well for the group photograph.
Hearty congratulations once again to all the winners. And uh, on that note, ladies and gentlemen, we conclude the Realty Plus Conclave and Excellence Awards 2017. We, of course, have the uh, E4M Conclave that's taking place tomorrow right here inside in the same venue. So all those who are willing to register may please connect with the Realty Plus team. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much and congratulations. <laughs>